All right, Pete Coors here with uh, Chairman of the Board, uh, Doug Jones. I'm here with the CEO and President of the Association, Paul Andrews. And uh, guys, uh, a lot of exciting things happening out here. Would Give us a little update on some of the facilities that are in the process of being built. You bet. Uh, Pete, you know, we're making tremendous progress out on site. The city, as our builder, uh, is really getting close on the... Uh, Stockyards Event Center, which is now the Buck and Janie Hutchison Stockyards Event Center. That'll be a building that in 2022 at the Stock Show, we can not only have a state-of-the-art show arena, but we'll also have a sale arena in it, along with an international room and various hospitality areas that we've just never had at the National Western Stock Show. So I think that building will be a great grand opening in 2022. Especially when you compare it to what we had. Absolutely. What year was that building built? The one we just it was torn down or re yeah that that building's been there for decades and decades 50s, 40s I mean, 50s right so, so it was tired. it was really a tired building and geez just keeping that building up doug was very difficult yeah. on us financially so so that that will be a great celebration and the yards themselves to have pins that work everywhere and still in a historic area that was you know, back in the early 1906, it was, those yards went forever north. And so these yards are being built on where they used to be built. And uh, pins that work, wash racks that are fantastic, power. Uh, you'll have all the amenities out there uh, to celebrate the historic yards. And so we're very excited about uh, 2022 and what uh, both those areas will bring to us. I know many of the exhibitors have reached out wondering about the Herdsire area. And uh, the herd sire area, guys, will be larger than it's ever been. You'll be able to display your bulls in the herd sire area in an area that is way larger than today. And they've lots of, lots of them are asking about the yards and the bar in the yards. And I promise you, the yards <laughs> bar will be there and they're gonna be proudly serving Coors beer. Perfect. <laughs> the good news in all this also is we have connected that great heritage and that history, saving all the bricks or at least, what, 30-some-odd thousand bricks and, and gates and hardware and branding opportunities. So those bricks now, we've saved. We're selling the bricks, and we're selling a lot of bricks. It's a great way for people to kind of connect with the whole capital campaign and the, the past and the future and everything that's going on at a very reasonable dollar amount. So it's a great respect of our past. We designed the campaign so that everybody could participate at whatever level they right. felt that, that they could. And, you know, the one of my goals has been to have more and more people participate and feel like they're part of uh, the history and that those contributions are going to make possible facilities that will be here for the next hundred years. Yeah, no, no question that. I mean, the ability for people to invest in this campaign at really very low levels in order to get their name on something. That is fantastic. And again, the, the legacy building will be a great testament to the history of the National Western and people's celebration of the Western lifestyle and values that we all share. As we say many, many times, this facility celebrates our great Western values and the spirit that goes with it and those freedoms that go with it. So this is a chance to be a part of the past, but also the future. So this is honoring uh, honoring the, the legacy, yeah. which is the name of our uh, headline, name of our campaign. And we want to have everybody have an opportunity to do that. So uh, look, you can uh, you can make outright cash contributions. Uh, we still have some things that if you want your name on something out here, we've got some possibilities. Please uh, connect with the information that's on the banner. If you'd like to buy a brick or would you like to buy a place in the new uh, legacy building for your brand. Uh, we've got bricks and brands to sell, and we're now selling horseshoes, which will go on plaques in the new equestrian center. And maybe we could talk just a little bit briefly about the new Sue Anchus Rogers Agricultural Building and the Equestrian Center. You bet. So the both the Sue Anchus Rogers Livestock Center and the Equestrian Center are currently in early design, but one of the unique features of the Legacy Building and the Sue Anchus Rogers Livestock Center will be the ability for us from the top level of the club to see into the show arena during the National Western Stock Show. Uh, that was a vision, frankly, that you and Doug both shared that uh, I just love. And uh, that building, uh, that livestock center that will be attached to 
the Legacy Building will be a premier building in all of the world. You'll be able to grow our livestock show by 30% larger than what it is today from just the barns in that area. The show arena will be second to none. It will be a beautiful building with uh, right around somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 fixed seats. It will become from February to December really a multi-purpose arena that will drive economic impact for this uh, great state of Colorado for the next hundred years. There's some that will call this building the country music capital of the West one day, I think, uh, because the entertainers traveling from Nashville will be able to be in a, uh, a building that they really can get between 5,000, 4,500 people in, which is perfect for some of those up and coming stars. So. Boy, everybody's really excited about that livestock center and the attachment to the legacy building. Well, as we say, giddy up. I mean, we're, we're all we're ready to go. And uh, we get this campaign completed here in the next uh, few months or, or next year or two, and, uh, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be off and running. So I just, uh, you guys both serve as co-chairs of the Capital Campaign Committee. I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. And uh, this has been a great team effort. And, uh, Did we ever tell you how much we appreciate you chairing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, somebody's, somebody's... A couple of times, but let me say it again. We appreciate it. Really, it's been an incredible amount of good fun. I think one of the things I can say about the campaign is, is that, uh, that we've had a lot of good laughs. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of back slapping. And, you know, if we didn't have to wear masks and do all that crazy stuff... Um, we, I think we'd be a step closer to our goal. But anyway, I just uh, want to thank you guys for all you do, all your help and, uh, and encouragement. Thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Peter.